what I'm going to do now is do a quick video, hopefully, on the solo stove light. Now uh, I'm going to mention its pot as well, and also a few of my add-ons. Now the solo stove light will burn on uh, multiple fuels. Uh, you can use Esbit tablets, hexi blocks, or hexamine blocks if you like, uh, methylated spirit, even without the spirit burner, and also uh, if you run out of fuel, it's a twig burner. So uh, yeah, let's get on with it and have a look. Here's the stuff. That one side. And that's it, that's the solo stove light. Now you can see how small it is by the size of my hands. And to set it up, all you've got to do is get it out the pot and the bag and turn it round like that and put your fuel in. So it's as easy as that really, uh, which is quite good if you're in the dark or in bad weather or something like that. Um, now uh, the pot itself, I'll go through the pot, put that to one side. Oh, it comes in a bag, a little bag, flimsy bag actually. There you go, solo stove, backpack, camp, survive. That's a nice little bag, I suppose, and uh, the pot. And it the pot comes with a bag similar to this as well, but I've got my own bag, a canvas bag. So, uh, right, let's go through the pot. Now this pot, it's um it's it's very solid actually it's quite thick i can't i can't crush that at all it's it's really really solid and it's got a little spout there pouring out the water or whatever accurately or you know so you don't spill it or anything and it's got measurements on the inside there and it's sort of reversed that way and the handles they're not wiry either, they're quite thick, they're nice. So uh, that's really good. Now the bag I've got is a canvas bag and it's it's made for the 12 centimeter billy, uh, zebra billy can. Okay, but uh, it fits this perfectly. Now you could put the zebra billy can in this, uh, this inside the billy can as well. Uh, the zebra 12 centimeter billy can that is but I prefer this I think this is better I'm not into um, the, the zebra pots uh, zebra billy cans they don't have handles on the side like this so I like this better yeah, I think it's a lot better um, now my add-ons are also get that out a 27 series non-stick pot for the Trangia from the Trangia and uh, got fuel here, got my lighting equipment and I've got three tent pegs cut down and that's for to peg it down to keep it still on undulating terrain because it'll sort of lean over a bit on ground like this so you can sort of force it down a bit 
So uh, that's the gear. Right, now what I'm going to do now is set it up to make something. And I hope I don't mess it up <laughs> or burn anything. So I'll just peg it down like that. And keep it down. And then you can readjust it when you put your food in or the water to make sure it's flat. And put that one over there. Get it in the hole. Hold it down. There you go. Nice and solid. Oh, I didn't mention, if you're going to use twigs and your pot is on there, that little gap there, you put the twigs in. So your pot will be on there like that, whichever one you got. And then get your little twigs and feed it through the little hole. Like that, as it's burning. Now, i got to admit, because uh, it's a small area, quite a small area oh, I can't pick it up can I <laughs> um, it will burn it will work it's good but because uh, it's small you've got to you've got to constantly feed it not quickly but just sort of slowly feed it all the time but it does work oh yeah I forgot to mention I said that you can use methylated spirits without the spirit burner well the reason you could do that is because even though it's got holes on the outside, it's double walled. See, it's got holes there. And what happens is the, the air goes in, and comes out the holes here, and also comes out of here as well. And uh, it gasifies the, uh, the flame, and it can burn economically. Now, because it's double layered, that is a cup with no holes, okay? So you can put this straight in. So if anything goes wrong with this, like the seal or something, uh, you could just put it straight in or uh, if you want to use twigs you could just have a quick slurp drip a little bit in light it and then put your twigs in like that bit of a cheat I know but why not <laughs> right I've got the stuff what I'm gonna do is uh, make a little stir fry so um, I'll uh, chop this chop the veg or oh, not veg it's already chopped up the uh oh i can't lift that can i <laughs> it's pegged down oh i'm really good in the kitchen actually it's just out here i'm not very good uh right let's chop this up now this is only a little midday snack for me um Oh, there's another one there. Ah. I normally eat less than this normally. But uh, anyway, let's sort this out. Get that away. Put some fuel in here. Now, if this is a hot day, and this is out in the sun for quite a while, you've actually got to put it away from the food undo this and press that to take the pressure out because I found in the past I've left it in the Sun for a little bit and uh, press that and all the fuel spurts out and goes everywhere because uh, well because the pressure builds up anyway I'll do that now oh, it's not really quite it's not hot really But that could be a big mistake. If that fuel goes into that food, then that's it. Your food is no more. A little shake. Get the dip bits off and carefully put it away. Over there, out the way. Right, put that in there. 
and it's it is quite flat by the looks of it yeah that's good right where's my fiber there we go use this two thumbs oh first time Oh, I got another add-on. I didn't mention. Right, okay. I forgot about that. I'll just get it out of the bag. I have got a grid. Okay. Now, the reason I got this is because in windy conditions, like on a mountain or something, or in the valley of a mountain, uh, you can't use that very well because the the flame, the heat will will blow sidewards, uh, whichever direction the wind is blowing. So we're on, we're on the lowland now in the woods. But if you want to use one of these in mountains, in the in the uh, in the windy conditions, then you put that on top, and then put your pot on like that, and it won't go out. It'll uh, it'll it'll encourage the heat to go straight on the pot instead of blowing sidewards. So that's what you do with that. So I got one of these as well. I mean, you could put that on a raw fire as well. With a couple of, couple of damp logs like that or something. So, and it's really light, so it's pretty good. So I'll just put this out of the way because I'm not using it. Put that on there. Don't get the oil. Put that on there. That'll do, I think. get that going I've got one of these as well because I've got this pot I've got a pot grip as well now the Trangia pot grip will fit in the bag the canvas bag sidewards sticks out a little bit but what I've got is a slightly shorter one here so I use that one and I've got a bit of edge as well I'll stick that in and hopefully, oh, I've got a bit of paprika and curry powder in there as well. And just hope it tastes good. <laughs> if it doesn't, I, I won't tell you anyway. <laughs> ah, knife, fork and spoon as well, my stirrer. Oh, I don't know. Where is my, where is it? I have got it. No, there it is. Oh. Uh, there we go. Not thinking right. Right, that's my nice hot spoon, but I've got myself a little stirrer as well. I could use that as a spoon as well. So let's get that out the way and get on with the cooking. I got a little video as well on how to make this. That's actually a collar of a shirt, of an army shirt. And that's a different video. Stick that there, stick that there. And uh, get that out of the way a bit. I'm going to start stirring. A little bit of more oil. Yeah, that's enough. Oh. Now you could fry some sausages in here as well and bacon. You know, it doesn't have to be a really flat frying pan you, you I suppose you could just do a bit at a time and then get your beans on and then bang it all in the beans while it's, the beans are hot enough that's what I do anyway
Yeah, I know the wind is picking up even on the lowland and you can see the flame is going out that way fortunately towards the camera so you can see uh, now if this was a mountain you'd be better off I'd be better off putting this on taking that off like that see and it'll still work but as we're on the lowland I'll take that off. Is that going to be hot? Yes, it is. There you go. Turn that around, I think. There you go. Right, let's get this veg in. Fry veg. Get that out of the way. And carry on with this. Ooh. Right, I might as well put this in as well while I'm at it and I hope I haven't messed it up <laughs> I think that'll do <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing really but there you go I should have practiced this shouldn't I Put a bit more oil in. I'll get it all in. There you go. That's that. Put that out the way. Give it a chance to heat up. Looks nice. Just hope it uh, tastes nice. <laughs> If it doesn't taste nice, I'll just smile and say lovely and then show you an empty pot on a different part of the video. <laughs> nah, I wouldn't do that. I'd tell you the truth, honest. Quite a big lump there. Where's my knife? Where's the knife? There it is. Where's the? Oh, I'll cut this up, I think. Considering the other bits are small, you'll end up either cooking this and overheat, overcooking the rest, or that's staying hard. So, there you go, I'll put that in. Put that to one side. Put my knife away. Very carefully clean it. Ooh. Right. Ideally, I think a midday snack would should be something that you don't cook uh, So you can get on with where where you want to go and just have a little rest You know, that's just my idea. That's the way I do things but uh, There's a little bit more in here a little bit more to it 
like some noodles or something in there. Put the noodles in there. And uh, that would be a nice evening meal. You are the, the wind's picked up and all the flames are going sidewards. So uh, if it was in the hills now, he'd have to use my little grid. So let's just have a go with the grid. The good thing about the pot grip as well is you could grab this hot fluke or whatever you call it and put this on there like that. And then that back on there. So there you go. That's how you use it in the wind. And of course you can see the flames, they, it'll still keep burning. Put it on nice and straight. Ooh. That's it. It's nearly done. Nearly there. All right, this is done now, so uh, I'm going to tuck in and I'll tell you what it's like. Right, moment of truth. Is this going to taste nice? Oh. Oh. Lovely. Only joking. It's really nice. Mm. Right, you don't want to watch me eat this, do you? So uh, it remains for me to say thanks for watching, like, share, subscribe, and take it easy. Cheers. <laughs>